What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about five different ways that you can increase the amount of experience that you're getting playing Black Ops 4. Now at the time of recording this video, I'm actually first prestige level 20, which I know is not very high considering a lot of people on YouTube are pushing eighth, ninth prestige already. It's absolutely insane. Um, I do work. I do have other things going on, plus editing YouTube videos and all this other stuff. Um, and Call of Duty is not the only game I play. So considering the amount of time that I've put into Call of Duty Black Ops 4, I think being first prestige level 20 is pretty good already. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how you can actually get the most experience out of your playtime, right? The most experience per hour is how we're going to talk about it or experience per minute or experience per unit of time. Now, the first way is the most simple way. This is guaranteed to double the amount of experience that you get, which is to get double XP codes. Now, I actually made an entire video about this already talking about the monster energy promotion. Uh, but real quick, just to summarize it, if you guys don't want to watch, um, you can actually click uh, uh, somewhere above me and watch that entire video. Highly recommend it because I go more in depth. But basically, depending on which monster products you're purchasing you'll get a code that you can in input on call of duty.com slash monster energy uh, and you'll get a certain amount of experience based on uh, whatever product you happen to buy now on top of this there's also a promotion going on with Pringles mega stack I believe if you buy the like the mega cans you get uh, I think 15 minutes or 30 minutes of uh, double XP time as well that process is a lot more uh, of a hassle and I think maybe you guys probably don't like Pringles as much as monster but who am I to judge you guys can go ahead and look up that promotion as well you have to keep a copy of your receipt and you have to go on well, who I don't know the company that owns Pringles I think it's like Kellogg's or some random like big food company um you have to go on their website make an account verify the account with your email or something and you have to send them a picture of your receipt it's kind of a pain um, but those are the two ways that you can guaranteed get double experience right now I mean you can go and buy monster you can go and buy Pringles put those codes in on the website and immediately you will double the amount of experience that you get now for number two I'm gonna be talking about the game modes that you can switch to in order to gain more experience for each minute of playtime now I'm gonna give credit to where credit is due I actually found this image that I'm gonna show on the screen uh, from a Twitter user by the name of Parzelian or or Parzelion. I'm not sure how to say it, um, but I saw them post this on Twitter and basically what they did is they played a couple of different matches from each of these game modes uh, and did the math about the number of experience that they got and the am amount of experience per minute that they actually got so you guys can see what is the best use of your time and as is per usual for some of the older Call of Duties, uh, Search and Destroy actually is the number one game mode to play if you're looking to level up faster um, because you just get more experience throughout that game mode whether you're playing the objective planting and getting kills and things like that uh, it seems that you're just getting way more kills uh, or way more experience I'm sorry uh, playing s d than anything else a close runner-up is actually control which which was I that's what I thought would be the number one because I played control and it seems very easy to get a lot of kills plus you can get uh, I think 25 experience for partial capturing an objective plus I think 50 or 100 experience for fully capturing an objective on top of the bonus experience that you get when you get kills in or defending the objective so in my mind i thought control was the best one to go with apparently it's currently search and destroy but but uh, control is a good second option if you're not you know into search and destroy you don't like it or you don't have a team to play with or you're sick of playing with randos because they're trash jump into a match of control uh you'll you won't get <clears throat> you'll still get a ton of experience especially with the double experience uh codes so that's a good option too um uh, coming in third place was domination tied with free for all so that's good to know that free for all if you're very good at free for all if you're absolutely dominating and you're getting tons of kills very quickly uh and kill streaks and whatnot you actually uh, can get a lot of experience that way as well but i'm going to be talking about a couple a couple of other things on this list that um are actually going to help you get even more experience if you're playing with teammates so I wouldn't really recommend free-for-all as like one of the best options I would say search and destroy control 
and if you don't like control then do domination i think that's probably the best uh the best route to go for leveling up the fastest now with with that being said i'm going to talk about tip number three which is actually uh the way that i mentioned to get more experience by playing with other players and that is using certain specialists and score streaks in order to maximize your experience game first let's talk about specialists the specialists that are going to be the best for getting experience are actually the support specialists or the ones that don't really have like a big weapon or a gun or anything like that um these are actually really good because that you can actually do something else while you're getting points from your specialist so what i mean by this is for example torque i really like torque i know if you guys have been watching these black ops 4 videos i've been talking about him a lot you'll see me playing as him in pretty much every game uh because he his his specialist matches my play style but what what's cool about torque is actually you actually get 25 experience anytime somebody spends like half of a second trapped in your razor wire so if somebody runs into your razor wire and stays there for a full second you get like a hundred experience even if you don't kill them and then if you do get the kill you get an extra 100 experience or whatever the case is um so you'll notice if you play torque and people are running into your razor wire you're gonna see plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus it's it's crazy how much experience you get just like that from people running into your razor wire so if you're placing the razor wire in certain you know i what i do is i put it around certain corners where you don't actually have a good line of sight around the corner but it's a high traffic area that people usually sprint through this is good you know kind of near spawns and things like that um you know people will just sprint around that corner because they always do and they run right into your razor wire that they couldn't see because of the angle that you put it at uh that's the way that i've been using it and it's been very effective for me on top of that barricade also does a similar thing um, I think for every two clicks of the radiation or the microwave ability um, you get plus 25 uh, experience the barricade actually kills I think a little bit faster than the razor wire um, they have to spend I think less time in the barrier I'm not sure it might be around the same uh, but you get extra experience for getting the barricade kill as well I think it's plus 175 if I'm not mis mistaken it's 150 175 something like that um, and again that's something that you can actually place down in like a high traffic area or place it on an objective and you can continue to kill you can keep slaying you can run around um, you also get extra experience if you get kills from behind the barricade and if you're your teammates i believe get kills from behind the barricade you get a bonus as well uh so that's kind of a way to get like kind of farm experience with your equipment around the map without having to actually do anything just placing it in a strategic area on top of that let's talk about crash the assault the assault pack that crash can drop actually when when teammates pick that up and they get kills with it you get bonus experience for helping with that kill which is really really awesome uh, another thing is recon using recons uh deployable sensor dart uh if, if your teammates get kills or if you get kills when the enemy was within that sensor dart you gain bonus experience uh, and i think the same is true for the vision pulse as well uh, because you're actually pulsing for the entire team so when you get when anybody gets a kill after your vision pulse you gain a little bit of extra experience as well now of course there's other specialists that uh you know can get you experience very easily these are just three that are i know off the top of my head are very easy to get extra experience with especially if you're playing with other players uh because you know you're getting bonus experience because other people are benefiting from what you're doing uh, and that's the whole point is that the more people you have getting you experience the more experience you're gonna get especially if you have that double experience that i talked about from tip number one as for score streaks it's pretty straightforward i would say just use the uav counter uav and then whatever third kill streak is that you want and that you can actually get during a game reason and a reasonable amount of uh, kills so i would say you know if you if you're confident that you can get the strike team or the thresher or the drone squad or something like that then go ahead and use those because they kind of just do their own thing same with the attack helicopter or stuff like that um but but if you're not really confident and you're getting those kills then just go with the care package because you, you'll get something out of it worst case scenario it's a uav or counter uav um best case scenario it's something that really pulls in the kills and the reason that you want to use the uav and counter uav is pretty straightforward uh, especially in the game modes where you have other teammates and really this is the, the time where it shines the most because anytime that a teammate gets a kill while you have a uav or counter uav up in the air you actually gain bonus experience for that so every kill that happens on your team you're actually getting experience from that so it's really really good to just help out the rest of the team and because they're getting kills off of something that you help them with you gain the experience as well so as you can see with with the specialist and the score streaks uh, we're kind of trying to use things that 
help us farm in experience from things that other people are doing we're kind of outsourcing the experience gain to other players because if everybody is is doing well then you're going to be getting all this experience from you know your razor wire and your kill streaks and everything like that and it all really does add up at the end the next thing i'm going to be talking about i think this is tip number four i'm starting to lose track uh this tip number four is getting headshots now i also made a video about this um and getting headshots in this game actually if you go to the you know the after action report and you look at your medals and you look at your headshot medals every single headshot gives you 100 experience so that means not only are you grinding for your camos grinding for that dark matter camo uh but you're also getting extra experience for getting those headshots you're actually being rewarded and leveling up faster by getting kills with headshots as opposed to just a regular body shot or a regular spray and pray again as i mentioned before i do have a video up on my channel talking about how you can get even more headshots in call of duty black ops 4 uh, so if you guys are struggling getting those camos or if you just want to hear what i have to say some extra tips that maybe you're not utilizing or maybe you didn't think of go check that video out it's a pretty quick video uh, and it'll talk about pretty much every way that you can use to uh to gain some more headshots and of course people are commenting commenting down below uh, on that video their favorite ways that they get headshots as well i just thought that was really cool when i saw the after action report and it said times 11 and i was like oh i got 11 headshots and when i highlighted it, it said 100 experience and i was like oh that's awesome i just got over a thousand experience in one game just because i was getting headshots just because i was getting kills that i was going to get anyway working towards my camos really really cool so i'm glad to see that that's a little you know secret tip basically if you guys didn't know you got extra experience for those headshot kills maybe it'll motivate you to go ahead go ahead and go towards that dark matter or even just go for gold on your favorite guns things like that and the fifth and final tip kind of piggybacks off of the headshot medals and that is different challenges like career challenges prestige challenges gun challenges things like that um you know you, you want to be prestiging every single weapon that you reach max level with pretty much as soon as you get it to that level um i know a lot of guns you you get a very good attachment after you've got it to max level like the operator attachment or whatever whatever that's called yeah yeah the operator mod you get that when you have a maxed level weapon like the swordfish or whatever the case is um but I would like to mention that getting those weapon uh when you unlock different attachments for weapons that actually is because you're leveling up the weapon and when you reach that that level you gain extra experience for that so unlocking different things for weapons gets you more experience of course the standard challenges get you more experience and some of them are incredibly easy but if you're not if you don't know about them you'll never do them like some of the challenges are get x amount of kills while uh laying down or get x amount of kills while crouched and a lot of times people are just running gunning jumping around sliding things like that uh, and they're not just laying down and getting a kill and you might not know that you could get extra experience for just you know instead of standing in the corner and getting the kill just crouch in the corner and get the kill and that'll count towards a challenge that's going to get you bonus experience and a lot of these things like i said go through and look at some of these challenges they're very very easy a lot of these are very easy challenges that you can get done uh, and you'll be increasing the amount of experience that you get every single game that you play not to mention if you take all five of these tips and use them together you know like every game that you jump in let's say you use a gun that you haven't used before to level it up you get headshots with it so that way you can unlock camos and also get the bonus experience with double xp on playing a certain game mode where you're going to be getting uh the most amount of xp per minute you know of course with except for a search and destroy you obviously can't really grind kills and search and destroy but regardless playing like control or something like that using all of these tips it's gonna you're gonna level up way faster using these tips now i know not everyone has access to maybe double xp codes if you're outside of the united states i think the monster energy uh, promotion is only in the united states um so for your country there might be either a different promotion or you can actually buy the monster on like ebay or something i know that's kind of crazy but i've actually seen comments on youtube of people saying that they've done that and it does work for them uh, so you can give that a try but you know even if not all these tips apply to you or maybe you only like a certain gun so you're gonna skip uh, some of the other things utilize some of these tips in your game and just see how quick you level up because I think you're gonna notice a big difference in how fast you're prestiging uh, and I think you're gonna really really appreciate uh, getting to those better guns or better perks or whatever the case is in later game and once you prestige a few times your permanent unlock tokens are gonna get you all the things that you want so prestiging won't be that much of a hassle anyway with that being said that's pretty much the video guys i just want to let you know that my my book my ebook is no longer free it's up on amazon link in the description for 2.99 if you want to actually download the book uh, and, and support me i actually do get a decent amount of that uh, revenue so i'd really appreciate that you could also buy the paperback book 
um the book was downloaded over 230 times in the in the five days that it was free so i didn't really know what to expect i think that's a decent amount um so i really appreciate you guys for showing love and support and if you did get that book make sure you go and leave a product review for it i would really appreciate that um with that being said we're at the end of the video so if you guys haven't already drop a thumbs up on the video if i helped you out in any way shape or form if you learned any tips tricks or anything like that now if you made it all the way to the end of this video i want you guys to include in your comments down below the graph moving up emojis because that's going to be the level of experience that you're getting in call of duty you're going to get way more experience with these tips uh but also let me know uh, if, I, if i miss anything if there's any secrets or special tips or anything that i should be using to gain even more experience than what i've talked about in this video also people are going to really benefit from that if you comment down below other people who see this video are going to see it and they're going to appreciate it the best comments are going to get pinned to the top so that way other people can see your useful information so don't forget to put that graph emoji um and also like i said give me some tips if you have any uh if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that now so that way you can see any more videos that i upload with tips tricks secrets anything like that about black ops 4 smack that bell button boy and i'd really appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace